Thank you, eBay. Way to go, eBay, on an eBay part, and uh, they didn't make it long enough. So that's what you get for buying eBay parts, huh? Little things you gotta mess with. Hey guys, welcome to Gearheads. Today, we're installing an eBay short shifter in my car. So, the Miata stock shifter is honestly very good. There's nothing really wrong with it. Um, it doesn't even have that long of a throw, but I have driven other cars with short shifters and I always have liked it. I've never actually tried one in a Miata before. So, this was cheap enough. I got it on eBay and it was only like 28 bucks shipped. So, everybody likes cheap mods they can try out and uh, if I like the feel of it and I enjoy it, then Sweet, that was a really cheap, easy mod to do. And if I don't like it, these things are easy enough to take in and out that it's not even a big deal. So, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Woo. All right, this is a super easy job. So we're just gonna start out by taking the center console out. I have this aftermarket cup holder thing holding it in. So I just gotta take this screw off. Look at that, weight savings. All right, open up your center console, move your crap out of the way, and there's two in here. All right, and now we just need to pull the shifter off. Took the hard top off so you guys can get a better view of what's going on here. This thing needs a new shifter boot, but uh, I'll be honest, I'm putting this shifter in here, but this transmission and all this stuff's gonna be coming out when we do the engine swap soon. For, for now, I'm just gonna throw this back in, but these are 10 millimeters and there's four of them. Okay, and then we've got three more 10 millimeters uh, bolts on the shifter housing. I need to just replace this thing, which I am gonna do once again. I have all new stuff, but I'm gonna wait till the new Ooh. car. Ooh. All right, here comes the shifter, which is also oily. Well, that's at least good. There's actually oil in there. A lot of times you'll take these apart and find that nobody's checked this at all during the entire life of the car. And then there'll be, it'll be very low on oil in there. A lot of it'll leaked out or whatever over time, but uh, cool. All right, and this shifter bushing looks like it might've been done before. I don't know. It's not totally worn out. A lot of times these shifter bushings on the end here get, uh, they get all worn down. Sometimes you'll take this thing out and this thing isn't even there anymore because it just wore down into <laughs> sand <laughs> and, and nothingness. One thing you can upgrade when you do this, it's optional, you can look up a Beat Rush shifter collar and that's a little brass replacement piece for this and that doesn't wear out like the plastic does and it keeps your shifter feeling nice and crisp forever. So while you're doing this, it's a very good opportunity to clean out your shifter um, turret fluid here or just flush it with new stuff. So get a turkey baster and just suck it all out and we're gonna put fresh fluid in. And this is the same as your gear oil. Dude, look at that color. Nasty. It's like an art class with abstract colors. So the short shift kit came with a few things you need. If you wanna do a full shifter rebuild, you're still gonna to wanna to get a kit for that. I'm not gonna bother with it right now because like I said, the transmission I have going into this car soon already has all that. Um, it's all fresh, so I'm just gonna be swapping this in. But if you do wanna do that, you need to come down here to this pin and you might wanna get like a flathead screwdriver or a, maybe something, something you can stick right onto there and hammer that pin back. And that will allow you to get this little Oh, not O-ring, this little bushing in here out. So here's what we got from the uh, kit. We've got the short shifter itself right here, and it came with a new uh, shift collar down here. I guess we'll see how that holds up. 
And then um, you've got your actual spacer right here. And then these two guys go on the top. All right, now not every short shifter kit is the same. Um, and some of them come with more stuff to rebuild or bushings to replace or whatever. This one is actually replacing the lower bushing here in your uh, shifter turret. This one that moves around right there. It's white and that's hard to see, but that one is getting replaced by this metal bushing entirely here. So we need to get that pin out, um, backed up out of the way so we can slide that up. Now I'm just going to, I just had an extra bolt sitting around and I'm just going to stick it on there like that and get my sledgehammer and I'm going to attempt to knock that pin back. There we go. Now if you want to just do a stock shift or rebuild, uh, you'll need to pull that back anyways to get this bushing out, but we're just deleting the bushing, I guess, with this eBay kit. We'll see how this thing holds up. Like I said, the eBay kit was only $20, so, or no, 20, but 25 bucks, 28 bucks, whatever, shipped. Come on. Oh! Okay, bye. Bye. I'll never see you again. Oh wait, I see it, I see it. Oh dude, I'm such a boss. Did you get it? I got it. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get that pin set back into the right position now. And I'm just gonna try and squeeze with triana locks and see if I can get it to come back through. Yep, it's coming. All right, I'd say that's good enough. Now let's slide this piece where that U-shaped cutout is right down over the pin. Look at that. Perfect fit, slipped right in there. Next, we are going to set this guy into place. Now, um, obviously the old way of doing it was the pin was in the front. This time the pin's gonna be in the back. So, let's see, because there's a pin in this piece as well. So let's just set that right where the bolts are gonna line up with the holes. And then, Here we go. Okay, so this is slid down into place now. My only question here is, it looks like that pin just barely, it doesn't even really slide in to the uh, shifter here. That might be because it's an eBay part and uh, they didn't make it long enough, but I guess I'm just gonna have to put this together and see how it works and if I need to take it apart and adjust it or something, I will. You know what though? Here, check this out. It does have an Allen head on it. I wonder if I just turn it back a couple turns here. It, yeah, because it goes through over halfway. So I bet you if I just turn it back a couple turns and get it backed out a little more, it'll align that better. So let me try that real fast. Good idea. Okay, so that thing had a little mm -hmm. Allen drive and I just backed it out a bit to make it longer. So now let's try. Oh, there we go. That's much better. That looks a lot better. It's actually set into the uh, shifter now. Good. So that's what you get for buying eBay parts, huh? Little things you gotta mess with. But hey, like I said, it was only 25 bucks, so I can't be too mad about it. Uh, I took it apart to do this, but I remembered that we needed to put oil in. So do not forget to do that. Now, let's slide this bad boy, this upper shifter bushing over. And this is gonna slip, oh come on, right into here. There we go. Perfect. And then it came with this dumb little metal piece that's supposed to like lock into the plastic, but it's too small to really even make it on there. So I'm actually just not going to use it. It shouldn't be detrimental to anything because with that upper shifter bushing in there and then uh, this guy bolted in, I don't think it's going anywhere. So that's about it. Now let me just grab the hardware they sent. They sent longer bolts to install it with because Obviously, with this spacer you get here, your factory bolts won't be long enough anymore. All right. And it did come with some washers, I guess, which is nice, I suppose. So let's, I guess, make sure the threads are good, huh? Oh, well, it's threading in. That's a good sign. That looks to me like they're bottoming out. Are you serious? Hmm. 
Thank you, eBay. It looks like they sent me little bolts here that were just a hair too long. Go figure. What a surprise. I wonder if I, if I try and screw it in a little farther if it'll do anything. Is it going or no? No. All right, I better. I don't want to strip anything then. Oh wait, yes it is. Is it? It's lower than the other ones. I'll try it a little bit and see. Okay. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> That's like way shorter than stock. Let's see what it feels like with uh, actual shifter, or not shifter, shifter knob. That actually feels good. Yeah. It doesn't, it's like way shorter than stock. It's not feeling like it's not aligning right. I mean, way to go eBay on making that little uh, pin in there too short. Uh, it kind of moves a little too. I'm not sure how much of that is up to, uh, see, it does have a little bit of play in it. Okay, so. This is something I just discovered because it was shaking just a little bit before when we had it all together. It's because it had a little bit too much uh, space. Um, and this bushing is not very big. This is the bushing that used to sit underneath down there. So what I'm thinking is, since this one's a little bigger, maybe if we put this bushing in on this side, it'll do it. Except for, oh, hold on. I gotta cut a little bit more of a U shape into it. All right, yeah, I'm gonna try and shave that U down here and then we can set this over the top and that might actually be enough to just hold that shifter tighter because this bushing is just like a little bit too short. All right, so I was trying to use a file and it was taking forever so I just got the grinder wheel out and ta-da! Now it sits in there easy. Now I just need to get back to where we were before, huh? Yeah, were you going to put that other spacer in or no? Hold on, that's going to go right there. And that's perfect. And then, no, what, the old spacer they had here? Yeah. I'm using this one because remember, when we had it together before, we had a little bit, the shifting actually felt good, but it had like a little bit of a play to it. And I believe it's because this is just barely too thin. So it gave the uh, shifter a little bit of room to move around, whereas this should keep it together better. So let's find out. All right, let's see how it feels with that bushing installed instead of the other one it came with. That's called recycling, Matt. <laughs> we just repurposed the original one. All right. There's no more up down movement. Before, I could it, it wasn't much, but I could feel it come up just a hair. Now, it feels pretty tight. Dude, I like it. I'm happy with that. That feels really good. Now, obviously we had to fiddle with it a little bit, but hey, you know. It's DIY. Yeah, DIY and it was so cheap that who really cares? I think that was pretty good. So, oh well, let's just go ahead and assemble the rest of the interior here and call it a night. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as you can see, we added a couple of extra steps in there just to make sure that we got that fit just right. 
But uh, hopefully we eliminated some of those steps for you guys so you guys don't have to go through that. Yeah, it's kind of a learning experience, especially when you go with really cheap eBay parts because you never know if they're like, you know, they didn't give me a full shift or rebuild kit, but they, I don't know. It was like, I ended up reusing the bushing that we took out from the bottom and putting it in the top and it actually worked better than what they sent. I just had to shave down the U section of it so that it could go around, uh, uh, what is it around that pin there um, that goes on the shifter? So anyways, uh, it ended up working out good I really like the feel of the shifter actually it feels really tight um, And the shifter is I don't know it's like half as much throw in the shifter It's a lot less which is just a preference thing like I said <clears throat> the stock Miata shifter is good But uh, I like it for now. We'll keep driving on it to see how it does and yeah I think it was a pretty good deal for 25 bucks even though we had to finagle with it a bit if you want no headache and you want to just find a kit that goes in perfect, then uh, they do have the Ralco RZ one for 60 bucks, which I think is what you're gonna try. I, I just I'm, I just want to see what it feels like. If it feels like different than this one, you know. But at the end of the day, if, from watching our video, if you guys want to go buy that $25 one on eBay, you can make it work, and it's cheap and it works good. So I'm happy. So thank you guys, thank you to all our subscribers for keeping up with our videos and watching us. So and if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to us. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. Go ahead and comment on this video, tell us what you think. And don't forget to hit the like button because it definitely helps move our videos up in the rankings and that always is really cool to see. So we really appreciate all the support we've had so far from you guys. So thank you very much. All right you guys, don't forget, keep wrenching!